Alrighty, good morning y'all. It is 5.51 a.m. or nearly seven hours earlier in the day than I woke up yesterday. And I'm doing so to help to reset my circadian rhythm to a more natural state of being. And I figured it'd line up well on a squatter day when I'd be on caffeine anyway. So I'm, I'm here. I'm alive. I may have only gotten like three hours of sleep last night, but I'm gonna do my best. Wish me luck. All right, so starting off strong, I took a one in 10 chance to hyperdose on caffeine and it came out positive. So <laughs> lucky me, I guess. I took 525 milligrams, which is like 10 cups of coffee. Also, 525 does happen to be my favorite number. <laughs> Please refer to my channel description. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Today was a really big day for me. I didn't feel good yesterday, barely squatting 135, but today I was somehow able to hit 225 for four with tempo and pause. I did not want to go much heavier though, because I do not trust the mental effects of caffeine on RPE. Otherwise, I really don't like taking caffeine. I've had issues with dependency on it in the past, especially during my first cut when I was like 17 years old. So I treat it like a serious drug nowadays. And for that reason, I exclusively use it once every couple of weeks for max outs and squatter days like today. But even then, I've noticed it doesn't do too much for me on heavy weights. Like, this morning, before taking any pre-workout, I woke up to an artificial sunrise with my sunrise alarm clock and took a full cold shower. Those two things alone easily made half the difference. And even when I was squatting heavy, my heart rate never got too high. So instead of going much heavier, I decided to go super duper light for a whole lot of reps. Is that Playboy Cardi reference? I chose 100 because it's an even number to do math with and because I've done high reps with it in the past. I eventually hit 69, I think, beating the PR I hit last week of 68 reps by one rep. Also, as you can see, my dad joined me today. He and I both like to lift weights, even if we don't see eye to eye on too much else. Like what I said in yesterday's video on emotional intimacy, it's a pretty big step for me to invite him to work out with me. On one hand, he's extremely distracting with how loud he is and his clothing, but on the other hand, he does offer me support in times of need. I'm not sure if this, like, breaks even, though, so as long as I'm hitting PRs, you won't hear any complaints from me. And on that note, I should admit that I've been slacking. It's just a really big dilemma for me between squatting every day like Clarence Kennedy or squatting super duper heavy every two weeks like Tom Platt's. I really would much rather have slow and steady gains, like only going heavy when I intuitively feel like it with squat every day. But on the other hand, Tom Platz's method offers effectively guaranteed PRs every two weeks and pretty freaking huge legs along the way. So I really need to think longest term here, but it's been hard. It's honestly like they're two different women to me. Where squat every day is like a white girl with blonde hair and proper manners. But bi-weekly max outs are a feisty Latina who knows how to keep a man on his toes. I've always had a thing for Latinas too, so maybe that's the deciding factor. <laughs> to be clear though, I'm still gonna squat every day even if it's only to keep greasing my neurological groove, as you would call it, in preparation for my bi-weekly max outs. I'm not exactly sure how to best program this, but I'll keep thinking on this. And as for now, that's about all that's on my mind. I really hope I get to rest well after this, cause caffeine can only do so much. 
Thanks y'all for watching and happy squatting. Mwah.